Hey, what's up Trainiacs and especially new triathletes who haven't ever been to this channel. Welcome. The Ironman World Championship held in Kona, Hawaii is just as of shooting this right now, a week and a half away. Most exciting time of the year. This is huge. And our team are all heading down in just a few days to cover the Ironman World Championship in 2017. So if you're new to this channel, and you wanna get as much Ironman Kona content as possible, make sure you subscribe. But today we're doing the annual Kona Pro List preview on who I think stands the best chance to win on both the men's and the women's race. Now starting off on the men's side, I think that it's clear that Jan Fredino is the class of the field. He's one of the fastest swimmers in the field. He's one of the fastest cyclists in the field. He's one of, if not the fastest runner in the field, top that off with the fact that he basically hasn't shown weakness in any sort of Ironman or half Ironman distance event that he truly trained for and focused on over the last three years. And I have to say that if Jan comes in healthy, doesn't have any disasters, he's gonna be almost impossible to beat. I think that the only person that has really shown that they can step up to the plate and challenge Jan in Kona in particular, because that's a different race, is Sebastian Keenly. What we saw last year is that Sebastian and Jan came off the bike together and they ran side by side down Ali'i Drive for a really long time. But once they got to Polani Road and the legs were really tested, it was clear that Sebastian didn't have the legs to run with Jan. But if somehow he can get onto that run and still be fresh, we could see a replay of the iron war between Dave Scott and Mark Allen that happened back in 1989. If Sebastian can gut it out and stay with Jan for the entire marathon, he might be able to squeak it out and crack him in the last few miles. Beyond those two athletes, I don't see anyone that is really clearly contending for a podium spot. Lionel Sanders in particular is seated way down 30th on the list, but he is a beast at the half Ironman distance, winning 16 times over the last four years. He's amazing on the bike, but he's a relative newbie. I think just going into his second Kona start. Personal favorite of mine, since he drank champagne out of a shoe at the half Iron World Championships just a month ago, Tim Dawn has had an incredible year. In Brazil, he set the Ironman race full distance, all time record, like all time, perfect race, boom. Dropped it like it's hot. Another German, Patrick Lang, broke out last year, actually beating the marathon course record set by Mark Allen and Dave Scott back in 1989. But does he have the chops to get on the podium while there's all these other great athletes? Again? Who knows? And then finally, there are always the Americans, Ben Hoffman and Tim O'Donnell, who I think are the US's best chances at getting a podium spot. They both have kind of dialed in Kona, but they've also both had disasters at times, making multiple porta potty stops. On the women's side, I think that this is just a runaway favorite, Daniela Reef. Everyone else is basically racing for second, in my opinion. Daniela Reef has broken records. She's got off the bike in Kona like dozens of minutes ahead. Showing that she's got a win at the Half Ironman Distance World Championship just recently shows that she's in good physical condition. And I think it's a race for second ladies. I'm sorry, I hope you like silver. Sarah Crowley is the second ranked athlete right in behind Reed. And that's due to a June win at the Ironman Asia Pacific Championships, a July win at the Ironman European Championships, and an August win at the ITU Long Course World Championships. But you know what? It is really hard to show up sharp at a full distance event more than three times in one year. And that's what she's asking for. I think probably the biggest challenger to Daniela Reef is American Heather Jackson. She has been focused on this course and this race in Kona and heat training and crazy fitness at the beginning of October all year. If you follow her on Instagram, bam, abs for days, yo. Like she is so fit, so healthy, so focused that after last year's third place victory, I think she's hungry, hungry to get out there and suffer in Kona. And if she can have a good day, 
she might just have the run to chase down Daniela Reef. Other than that, Michelle Vesterby has shown that she's very consistent on the Big Island. Last year, first time racer Kesa Sally from Finland had an amazing run, so she could have a breakout season and crack that podium placing. And then there's also Susie Cheatham and Lucy Charles who are both ranked high and have shown decent fitness throughout the year. But when it comes right down to it, I think it's the Daniela Reef show and Daniela Reef is gonna do what Daniela Reef does. And she is gonna kick the shirt out of this field, in my opinion. So there you go, Trainiacs, triathletes. Those are my picks for who is going to do well at Ironman Kona 2017. If you wanna follow along to the coverage of Ironman Kona, make sure you subscribe. We're gonna have a daily video going from October 8th to October 17th. We're gonna be doing podcasts. We're gonna be doing live hits. We are teamed up with Triathlon Magazine Canada to get in behind some of the velvet ropes. And we are like, we are serious media there. I'm gonna have a badge. So make sure you subscribe, check us out, and good luck to all the racers in Kona.